he's like the he's like the 21 year old that just doesn't want to grow up like wow. what's <laughs> Once we start to wander into some of the dating areas, I feel like I disagree. But like, yeah, we've argued about this. Um, mm. Yeah. And then I went on Fresh and Fit last night. And are you friends with these guys? Um, I would say that I have a mutual respect for um, the one called Myron on the show. Does he have a girlfriend, or does he? Is, is that lifestyle working like working for him? But if somebody brings me up personally, he's not going to be like, oh yeah, like he's a cock getting watching his wife getting BBC double. Like he's never done that to me, so I'm not going to see her. He's shit never his. said. I mean, I think so. I mean, he's definitely called you that. No, I don't think has he. But then, I got thrust into this weird f-ing space. Okay. That's the red pill, and I had, and, and so I tried to stay away from it for. A, a while, and now I'm like, why not? Fine. It, Hopping in on the back end as it is, and it's p- potential death throws right now. We're not entirely sure. About I don't really right. know. It's it's interesting because I was on what's her sauce cast or whatever. Oh yeah. And Adam, yeah. He, yeah, he's 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 like the he's like the 21 year old that just doesn't want to grow up. Like wow. what's <laughs> As a friend of Adam, I'm going to say... Are you really? Ooh, we're tell friendly. Me. We're friendly. Tell me. Tell me more. What about him? Well, what do you think? Like, what's the vibe? What? What's the vibe? Because I don't know him that well, but... I feel I think that he aligns a little bit too much with some of the Red Pill stuff, so I'll kind of fight him on that. Yeah. My, my Honestly, my biggest issue with him is I kind of feel like I say issue but we just run our shows differently he tries very hard to like keep the peace so if he's got like people on a show and they're giving a particular point of view he doesn't want people to like super fight and get at each other's throats a lot Mm. but um yeah I think that generally from what I've heard about like finance and self-improvement and stuff I generally agree with but then once we start to wander into some of the dating areas I feel like I disagree like yeah we've argued about this Mm. um yeah maybe that's the only I mean that's the only context that I have is Mm -hmm. is just obviously one piece of the puzzle of knowing him for an hour but sure. I just I felt like he was recycling the same stuff yeah they I mean all, he's like, done a lot with like I think he did a big show with Fresh and Fit and everything recently too uh, so, yeah, yeah I saw that yeah um yeah what I, and you're you're betrothed uh-huh. but anyway I I'm just trying to understand like and then I went on Fresh and Fit last night and are you friends with these guys like are you is it just a show is it like no? It's pretty. I think they believe it all. I think they live it in their lives and everything. Yeah. And are you, like, uh, you, Listen, you can be as savage as you want. Don't okay. worry about who I'm friends with. Um, I would say that I have a mutual respect for um, the one called Myron on the show. The the big guy, the tall guy. Tall guy, yes. Yeah. Um, Except that he doesn't look you in the eyes at all. Does he have like social anxiety? I don't know. I think he probably will. I, he's probably just like, because he's running a show, he's like trying to look at everything. I think he will sometimes. But sometimes he does this thing where he's kind of talking. He's like, he's got that look. He's like very intense. Um, I've got a lot of professional mutual respect for him. And then like on a friendly level, he's like never done anything weird or but obviously I completely disagree with every single thing they say um, insofar as like their red pill stuff and everything goes. So every time I go into the show, we'll like fight over that and then we go to dinner and then we fight over that. But Oh, yeah. so, okay. So you <laughs> yeah. like go to dinner and be like chummy chummy with him. Yeah I, yeah, I would say chummy chummy. But, like, I mean, yeah, he knows where we stand. Like, we obviously completely disagree on every lifestyle choice with each other, yeah. Does he have a girlfriend, or does he, is, is that lifestyle work for, like working for him? Um, okay, so, okay. <laughs> I try to make it a point not to, I will criticize, like, the, I think that the lifestyles they advocate for and everything are horrible, but I don't think he generally brings his relationships out to like fight battles, so I try not to attack mm. his relationships. Mm-hmm. Um, so mm-hmm. like for instance, they disagree with my lifestyle, like I have an open relationship, but if somebody brings me up personally, he's not gonna be like, oh yeah, like he's a cuck getting, watching his wife getting BBC double, like he's never done that to me, so I'm not gonna see her he's show. He's never his. said, I mean I think, so I mean he's definitely called you that. No, I don't think, has he? Bro. What? He's definitely, like the whole red pill space just the whole red pill space does, but he particularly, I haven't seen him attack me personally like that. We have a way. Fair, you yeah. fair point. Yeah. Fair point. I try to, I have very, there's very few people I have mutual, like, professional respect for, so I try to, like, you know, I'm sure that, like, personally, he might think that, which is fine. I don't care. Like, obviously, personally, I have big judgments on his relationships, but I try not to, like, go yeah, yeah, yeah. really hard personal. If, now, if somebody else wants to go personal, then I'll go as hard. So if you want to talk about <laughs> Rolo or MLD or uh, Donovan Sharp, these guys, I'll tr- break these guys with a 
people. Okay. But in All terms right. of how, like how Myron structures his life and runs his relationships, I disagree wholeheartedly with every single aspect of it. But I'm just not going to like personally attack it. Honestly. I guess uh -huh. what I'd like your opinion on is the where do you see him in his debate tactics? Because what what I found last night that was really sad is that we were on the show with what 2019 people. These girls have no ability to really form like mm -hmm. logical arguments most of the time because mm -hmm. they're just don't have a life experience. So yeah. is, so I felt like he was almost like a politician where I couldn't, tri like, there were so many times where he was going all over the place. Is that his debate style? So here, this is what I would say his debate style like roughly is, okay? Um, this is just a thing I do and it's gonna be horrible, but you just have to bear with me, okay? I draw things sometimes, okay? I feel like he has kind of these, I would call them, um, you could almost call it like a sales funnel. Um, <laughs> but I would say that he's got like these like conversational funnels where he has some points for how he thinks like relationships and the world works, or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he has these, like the argumentation down really, really, really well. So what'll happen is, is if you're having a conversation and you kind of like stumble into a topic that he like has a conversation funnel for. So like, let's say for instance, you're arguing and you're like- Well, can um, I tell you last night with the- Yeah, go for we, it. we spent two hours on whether or not women cause the death of chivalry. And that was his point is that w women have caused the death of chivalry. That's mm -hmm. why men aren't chivalrous anymore. It's your fault, social media, and women don't take, like there's no accountability with women. Sure, so like what you're saying right there, if I heard you start to talk about that, I, it feels like Myron's goal is gonna be to funnel you into a conversation where he's talking about how like, men are the ones that collect resources, men have to become, women just are. Correct. Men have to work for things, if a man in life, he's held accountable for his mistake. A woman is never held accountable. That's she can correct. fuck up. Yeah. So these are like, he's got this discourse. Deja vu. Yeah. He's got this dialogue memorized really well. And if you say anything even peripheral to that, he's going to push that pause button that goes, no, 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 no. He's going to say, rewind, hold on, let me say this. And then he's going to lay out that whole thing, basically. And that seems to be like his argumentative style on the podcast generally. Yeah. Okay. But how would you defeat that? How would you go about. <clears throat> Um, if you wanna, so for people that are really well practiced rehearsing these types of things, mm -hmm. um, you have to have a very comprehensive attack. So like, you can't just say, well, no, I think women have to work too, mm -hmm. because he's gonna hit you up with a whole bunch of like, men don't give a f how much women make, women are hypergamous, uh, a man is never, uh, you know, rich men don't get with poor women, look at the celebrity, celebrity, <laughs> celebrity, you're gonna get buried. If you're gonna attack that style, you have to be really well researched on all the things he's gonna say, and then you've gotta be ready to go from top to bottom. You're never, because they're, um, have you ever heard of the difference between like a logical argument versus a sound argument? So like a logical argument will be like, um, if I say like all men are immortal mm -hmm. and Socrates is a man, Socrates is immortal. Is immortal. Okay. So the, the argument is logical because it fits all the points, the conclusion naturally follows, but it's not sound so mm -hmm. because you have to fight the premises, right? Not all men are immortal, mm. right? So the issue with a lot of the red pill stuff and for Myron, all of his stuff is very internally valid. He's got a lot of consistency. And if you try to hit on any point, he'll bring in his whole worldview and crush you. You mm. have to be ready to fight like at very fundamental levels in terms of like, you know, do women need to work? Is it really the case that men are, are always held accountable and women aren't? You've gotta be ready to fight on all those. And then you're probably gonna have to reach into data-driven arguments to do it. Because as soon as you start to fight there, he'll bring up, oh, well, let's look at family courts. Let's look at who gets drafted in the military. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, let's look at who has uh, preferences when it comes to choosing whether to have an abortion or not. Like he's gonna go on all these examples and then you gotta be ready to fight on all of them. I'm sorry, I don't have like, there's not a shortcut answer because Myron is very good at what he does yeah. and you're not gonna be able to just come in and like whoop, slay him with like a single, like what about and this I, step? And yeah. I think if I'm being if I'm being honest, right? Like mm -hmm. I respect I respect the hustle, I respect the business, I respect certain things about him, mm -hmm. but it's like you're bringing on sheep to a show to just farm them. Like yeah. it's, it's like so, there's no way that these girls are gonna win. So they've made a business out of making these girls look like total fools. I, yeah, I mean, I agree. That's always my biggest criticism of their model is it's essentially you've got like two or three, you ever seen Lord of the Rings? 
Yeah. You have like the heroes, mm -hmm. okay? You've got like Gimli, you've got Aragorn, and you've got, um, not Dumbledore, Gandalf, mm -hmm. okay? You've got like the three guys, and then you're bringing on like 20 orcs, and every time you're just absolutely demolishing them. It's a bunch of 18 to 22 year old girls that don't have any debate experience. Mm -hmm. They're usually not the most educated. They're on a big back foot in terms of popularity. Um, a lot of them have already been drinking a little bit before going mm -hmm. on the show. Um, a lot of them are very nervous because they don't have experience fighting in front of a camera. Um, and then a lot of them just don't know these arguments. So you're lining them up and then you're just absolutely annihilating them one after another. Mm -hmm. So I agree that I think that's a problem with the format. I think it sets them up to always look like gods. They always you know? look like gods. Yeah. And then and then they go after the personal attacks if you don't have a logical point to make. Like like that's their okay, if you you're an idiot mm -hmm. or you're you're over you're over the wall, like you're worthless, you're yeah. thirty five, you suck. And I'm like, what what it's just almost like sitting in a an alternate universe going what was happening like this is not mm -hmm. this doesn't do anything there's nothing intellectual about this at all mm -hmm. anyway i digress yeah. no it's, it's 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 a very challenging it's a very confrontational environment to go into yeah so, and then you also as a woman you have the added difficulty of if you fight too much they'll just kick you off <laughs> so right it's, yeah it's very very challenging to excel right but then the point he was saying was at the end he said well women don't make women are not critical thinkers they don't make logical sound women arguments. are emotional men are logical and my point yeah. to him was like wait a minute isn't that the whole point of gender dynamics don't you talk about roles like isn't it a man's role to be the logical more less emotional guy so of course women are going to be more emotional because if women are bringing the emotion I don't know if they're bringing different colors to the relationship wouldn't you want them to be more emotional um, as a female <laughs> in terms of what they want in relationships that's a whole other um, I don't know what you're looking for me to answer there I they're, <laughs> they're like the, yeah that's a whole we just watched a clip today of a guy like an ex slash current red pillow do you know who Sneeko is yeah and he's basically saying like why would I ever want to have anything in common with a woman I'm dating I'd rather date some woman who's like very young and so I can show her the world and ha doesn't have any experiences yet um, why do I care like my, what my woman is interested in so like these guys their view of relationships is way wild the last time I was on the show we got into an argument because they said if you're married or dating somebody well one they don't believe in marriage anymore because they think the courts are all rigged but then two they think that you shouldn't live with your significant other because it'll make you weak and you should live wow. with a bunch of guys instead so uh, yeah their view on relationships is very 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 wild so yeah so where do you see this all going and and as a woman in this space because there's a part of me deep down secretly that wants to just g provide some sort of logic and i think i look i did the best i could as the first time being there mm -hmm. and being not necessarily knowing this and kind of knowing everything about red pill space. I have more of a kind of a psychological background. I did go to rehab. Like I've gone through my own journey of like trying to figure out uh -huh. stuff at a deeper level. So having those conversations with them just isn't going to happen. Like I'm not going to, you know, I can maybe Tom Bill, you and I are like diary of a CEO. We can kind of get into some of the reasons why they are the way that they are in their childhood, but they're not, they're not willing to even look at that. So a lot of my people that come to me are like graduates of Red Pill. They're like, I'm tired of being sure. angry. Like I'm, I want to find a woman. You know, how do I find a good relationship? What are the things that I need to do? And it's like some of the stuff that you talk about, like get rid of the nice guy bullshit. Like get rid of the codependency, right? Be able uh -huh. to like tell a woman sit the fuck down. I had a Ster I interviewed Sterling Cooper the other day, and he said, uh one text that he sends to a woman I thought was actually pretty funny. He's like, uh, you obviously haven't been spanked hard enough by... <laughs> Jesus, okay. There are some strategies that work, but it's only once you've penetrated like a certain of, level, like, of yeah. Of course, <laughs> of course. Like, you can't, yeah, you can't start there. Yeah. But it's like, how, where do you see, where do you see this evolving to? Do you think it's always going to, you know, this Rolo with his turban, like, where do you see all of this happening moving forward? I think once the Tates are gone, which is probably gonna happen, um, it's already, they've already backed away even from the space. I think that kind of the only thing keeping the space up right now is basically Fresh and Fit. They're like the final boss, like the leaders of, of um, that space, especially Myron. I, I think Myron is like the de facto leader of mm. the um, Red Pill, Jesus. Um, so I, I think that there's gonna be some, I think that the thing they're gonna run into is a couple problems. One is people are gonna get fatigued of the bring on women and shit on them for three hours. Mm -hmm. That's gonna get fatiguing after a while, number one. And number two, I don't think any of their advice for relationships is good. Um, at the very yeah. least in the earlier 
iterations of red pill stuff so like the pickup artists and stuff like that even if their stuff is problematic at the very least they usually had good advice for picking up women mm -hmm. even if some of it was manipulative um i don't even think the red pill stuff is manipulative it's just most of it's just like bad advice like cheat on your girl to make her more competitive or um you know <laughs> tell a woman you're never gonna live with her or marry with her, or her or like tell a woman that like you're gonna step out and other women and she has to be okay with that right? like these are strategies that like they just won't work ever so i think when people don't get results when they get fatigued from the um constantly attacking the women i think that they're gonna have to pivot to some other type of content i just don't see red pill right now as being an effective space for young men like they're not going to get the results that they want in those spaces i don't think so i appreciate that destiny all right bye remember to hit that like and subscribe and don't forget the notification bell so that my videos show up right in your feed